This year marks the 50th anniversary of the restoration of China's lawful seat at the UN. Vernon Mwanga was Zambia's ambassador to the UN from 1968 to 1972. He said that five decades ago, despite multiple failed attempts to have China restored, African representatives felt obliged to change the situation. The interesting thing is that um, China was being represented prior to 1971 by Taiwan. And we found that very irritating because we knew that there is no way that Taiwan, which is regarded as a province of China, can represent China the mainland. On October 25, 1971, the 26th session of the UN General Assembly adopted Resolution 2758 with an overwhelming majority and decided to restore the lawful seat of China in the world body. Mwanga, who presented the resolution in collaboration with Tanzania envoy Salim Ahmed Salim, said the passing of the resolution was not easy. So you can imagine how uh, frustrating it was for us because we first sponsored the resolution on China in 1966, then 67, 68, 69, 70, finally succeeding in 71. But previous years we, we failed because what the Americans and others who supported their view said is that, uh, was that the UN General Assembly had power to designate a particular subject as an important question. He said the African group, which was the largest group then, decided to canvass support from other countries to derail America's proposal by voting against it. So by the time we were finishing with the vote, it was quite late, in, late at night and the result was announced. We were all very happy. Mwanga, who was asked to speak on behalf of the African group in welcoming China, expressed gratitude that he was part of the historic moment. I'm happy to have been associated with China's uh, uh, membership of the United Nations in 1971. I served as ambassador of my country from 68 up to 72, and that was one of the major achievements that I have recorded even in the books that I've written. Mwanga, who also served as Zambia's foreign affairs minister, said China has, no doubt, played a major role in the UN system in the last 50 years in terms of maintaining peace and security in the world. He commended China's rise to become the second largest economy in the world, saying the rise of China could only be attributed to the good leadership and major and bold steps taken by the Communist Party of China in galvanizing the people. China, as you know, has risen from being a poor country when I first went there in 1965 to become the second largest economy in the world, which they are at the moment. So it has been a major, major step taken forward by the people, the government, the Chinese Communist Party and the government and people of China. According to Mwanga, the China-Africa relations have been strong over the past 50 years as the Asian nation has assisted African countries in fighting poverty and improving healthcare, education and infrastructure projects. China uh, has played a very, very major role on the African continent because she understands what Africa is going through because China also went through that process as they were emerging as, as a powerful nation. They, they've had to uh, lift hundreds of millions of people, their people, out of poverty, uh, which is admirable. And, and the spirit of hard work uh, must be able to inspire not just Zambians but other Africans to learn the culture of hard work uh, so that um, we can improve on our development challenges on the African continent. So China's commitment uh, going forward is very, very strong through FOCAC and also 
through a range of other bilateral agreements which African countries have reached with China. On the COVID-19 pandemic, Mwanga thanked China for the support rendered to African countries through vaccines and other medical supplies. So I, I commend China for the vaccines that she has presented. I also commend our people now that uh, they realize that COVID is real. Uh, for lining up, as I have seen, in various townships to receive the vaccine, uh, the, to be vaccinated because that's the only way to go. Vaccination is, is a very important part of this program. And if you think that only 4% uh, of the African population, others are reaching 70 and others are exceeding 70%, it means that Africa is way, way behind. Mwanga commended China over its response to the pandemic, saying the rest of the world should learn from how China managed to contain the pandemic.